Hi there! Alright, so um, today we're going to discuss the digital signal processing or um, correlation in um, digital signal processing. So um, I'd like to um, emphasize this quote before we begin, we begin because um, there is somehow um, similar um, concept that will be um, essential in you know finding the correlation. So there is a need of a method for finding out the truth. So um, that's why it was um, written by Descartes. So um, I'd like you for you to ponder before uh, you know diving in the correlation. So let's begin. All right. So the first things first is um, the definition of correlation. So if you are studying signal processing, you are most likely to encounter this um, convolution. And um, in computing, it, it is closely resembled convolution. And also, um, and you will find out why um, in the latter part. And also, um, in computing correlation, it is to measure the degree to which two signals are similar and thus extract some information. So as you can see, um, the quotes by Descartes is somehow similar that um, we need to find out the truth. Um, that's why we're doing some correlation, you know, to extract some information. All right, so um, how do we um, begin with correlation? So um, a crude concept would be this. So as you can see here, is the satellite and then um, it will emit or transmit a signal and then it will go back um, to the signal again so um the equation for that would be this uh, y of n is equals to um, alpha would be the attenuation factor and x um, parenthesis n minus d and d would be the delay and wn would be the additive noise so um, that would be um, the concept of the um, correlation because um, correlation is used in radar, sonar, digital communication, and other um, areas. All right, so that, that's why um, we should be familiar with this. So, um, so let's dive in. And to dive in, here is the formula for cross-correlation um, sequences. So um, I emphasize this um, summation and you will just multiply and then if there's a shift you will be using this so as you can see l would be um, any integer um, it would be negative positive or zero so i'm um, take note of that because um, we will going to use this in our um, example so our example would be this okay so um x of n is equals to um 2, negative 1, 3, 7, 1, 2, and negative 3. And as you can see, um, the origin would be here in 1. And here is the y's of n. Okay. And the origin would be this. Okay. So now um, we're going to use the formula that we've seen earlier. So, but um, it's going to be 0. So y's of n minus l or minus 0. So I, I omit it. So that's why I'm, we're going to use this. And so how do we do that? So the first things first is we're going to um, multiply. All right. So origin from the origin. As you can see, the one is the origin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it doesn't have uh, any number from the element of x. That's why um, it would be just zero. Alright, so if you multiply it, the result will be this. So 2, positive 1, 6, 14, 4, 2 times 1, and negative 3, negative 2 would be um, positive 6. Okay. Okay, so um, that would be the first step. So um, this would be, um, you know, um, doing this multiplication of x and y. And then after that, we will just um, sum it up. So if you sum it up, the result would be 7. So um, 2 plus 1 plus 6 minus 14 plus 4 plus 2 minus 6 would be 7. All right, so... Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to find that L is equals to 1. So remember that it would be um, any starting from um, 1 
two, two, three, up to um, we find that we find the sequence that would be just um zero. So to begin, so L is equals to one. We change because it's from here. We change it from here, right? Remember that at twice of n minus zero or twice of zero would be here. But if you um, move it or add L is equals to 1 this would be like this so as you can see um, if you plug it then would be n minus 1 so as you can see it's moving on the um, negative side of of the correlation plane while um, if you notice the graph would be moving into the right okay so now how uh, we're going to solve this so to solve this um, we're going to um, the same process that we did before so it would be um, multiply by this so origin let's start from the origin so um, negative 1 times negative 1 would be this 3 14 negative 2 8 and negative 3 so um, be aware that um, we just multiply it and then after we multiply it, we summation of all of this. So negative 1, negative 3, 14, negative 2, 8, and negative 3 would be 13. Okay, so the next step would be um, at L is equals to 2. And if you did what we did before, it would be um, negative 18. Okay, so at L is equals to 3, as you can see, we've just moved the arrow. Okay, so as you can see, it's 2. We move it from here. And then as you can see, um, we're, go we're pointing it out again to the origin because x of n is not moving, only the um, y's of n. Alright. Okay, so if you do that, again, 16. Mm -hmm. And this, negative 7. Again, we just move. And then we move it out, therefore it would be just 0. And 0 times 1 would be 0. And if you um, did this and then um, summation, it would be 5. Alright. So um, when 6, I did not uh, put it up. But when L is equals to 6, the result would be negative 3. And when L would be um, greater than 6, so 7, 8, and 9, the result would be just 0. So as you can see, um, what we did is just um, the cross correlation. So as you can see, um, the L is equals to 1 would be 13, 2, negative 18, up to the 6. This one, negative 3. Alright, so um, if this would be um, positive, so now we're going to move into uh, the negative direction. So at L is equals to 1. The result will be this. So um, two times negative one, the same process would be negative two, um, negative two, negative six, negative twenty-eight, one, right? Negative four, and then negative fifteen, right? So that's one. Okay, so if you summation of all of it would be zero. So and the same process and the same pattern would you will result or get this. So um, it's time for you to pause the video to um, you know compute for this one, so that um, you will be able to um, familiarize with the concept of cross correlation. And then um, as you can see at point negative 8 it would be 0 and when you um, um, at negative 9 it would be still 0 so that's why I'm, I just included it so our final answer would be um, this this one so um, as you can see um, 10 negative 9 19 36 negative 33 0 7 13 so um, what's the origin of here the origin would be the first one that we solved earlier it would be um, this one and the answer for that is 7 so um, the 7 would be um, 
here. So as you can see, so this would be our origin. Okay, so um, that's it, and that's our um, correlation. Good luck.